Coda has recently launched the ability to have your own custom domain on any Coda doc that you want to publish to the web. So in this video, we are exploring that feature and implementing it live where I'm walking through it for the first time together with you to see what it looks like to implement a custom domain, your own custom domain in a Coda doc that you publish to the web. Let's get into it. And here we have a Coda doc that I want to publish to the web with my custom domain. I own a domain on domain.com that is simosmed.com and we want to connect a subdomain to my code doc in this case. So I will select insert here at the top right corner of my doc, then settings and publish this doc. I can see this doc is already published and the URL right now is this one here. So now I will add my custom domain and I will add a domain and my domain would be coda.simosme.com. Let's connect this domain and here the first thing that we need to do is select my provider which is not in this list, it is domain.com, so I will go to other. And now Coda gives me some DNS entries that I need to insert in my domain provider. And here there are also step-by-step -step instructions. So let's follow these and see how I can connect my subdomain in domain.com. So first I need to log in into my DNS record provider, which I've already done, and I need to select my domain, which I'm already in here. And then I need to add a record in the DNS section. The host name will be Coda and the value custom.coda.io. That's a CNAME record. The name slash host is www. So let's go to domain.com here, or whatever domain provider you're using. The name will be Coda and the data will be custom.coda.io. So in content, that's what we select. Type is CNAME and we can pick every 30 minutes for TDL, time to live. And let's add this DNS record. Next up, we need to add the second record here. This time it's a text entry, so the type is text. The name would be this one here. Type is text and my content will be this one here. And this is composed of doc, colon and the doc ID that you can also find on the URL of your Coda doc. Let's select again 30 minutes for TTL and then add that record. And now I've saved these DNS records in domain.com and I'm going to click I've updated my DNS settings. And Coda says that it will notify me once this is done. This will take some time, at least one hour, as they say in the instructions. So I will need to wait for some time and Coda will let me know once I have my custom subdomain linked to this public Coda doc. And I will report to you once I have that confirmation. And after about one hour and a half, I got the confirmation. So this website, my Coda subdomain website is officially published. And whenever I click on this now, it will take me to my custom Coda page with the subdomain coda.simosme.com, just like that. And that's essentially a website that you can see here directly on a Coda doc with my custom domain. And you can also see that Coda retains the original published URL so that if you still want to use that, that is still valid. If you have that URL in past websites or web pages that you have linked to this URL, that still works and it's perfectly fine, which is a very useful feature because otherwise you will need to change all your links to your previous doc in any page, which you don't have to do instead. And that is how you publish a Coda doc with your custom domain once you own a domain. You can add DNS records following the very clear Coda instructions on here, on their new publish doc section. And then you can decide the interactions of the doc, if it is discoverable by everyone, the categories, if people can view, play, or edit the doc, if you want to allow people to copy your doc. And you can also decide if you want to show the cover, the subtitle, that is this one here, and the pages on the top navbar, which means if I had multiple pages on this doc, which I don't, they would show at the very top here when you share it on the web instead of on the left sidebar menu like this. And that is it for this video, the latest Coda feature. You can publish your own Coda doc with your custom domain. Let me know if you have any questions or comments down below. Thanks for watching and see you soon.